guys. So I have a haul. Woo! I got some new stuff from Macaroni's. And I got it from this thing called Mac Studio Talk. If you guys don't know what that is, it's this master class that uh, Mac Makeup offers. Uh, pretty much you reserve a spot that's um, by buying a $50 gift card. After that, you go in with a bunch of people. They show you three looks. Um, the looks that they did for us was uh, Ingenue, Suburban Urban, and The Rebel. There are three different looks. And you can be a model or whatnot. And then afterwards, you can use your $50 gift card to buy whatever you want. So I am here to share with you what I got. And I will, I promise I will make you guys a video about the Mac Studio Talk. And I will try to do the looks that they did for in the thing for you guys. So what I got first um, is pretty much what I'm wearing on my lips right now. Um, they, I was the model for the Ingenue look, which was the first look that they did. Um, Ingenue is a French word. It's supposed to mean the romantic, innocent type. Um, if that look actually was what it came off on me, I didn't think so. But the lips was amazing. I wasn't, I wasn't believing of it at first. I wasn't a believer at first because the eyes that they did on me was not my favorite if you want to say that. Um, but everyone kept telling me that the lips that they did on me was amazing. I didn't believe it because I was kind of distracted by the eyes that they did on me. But now that I'm wearing it, I, I'm actually really glad that I got it. So the two, the things that they use on my lips was actually, they're actually um, limited edition pieces. The first one is the Lady Gaga lipstick and it comes in this nice little package like this it's so cute um and if you guys don't know if you buy the lady gaga or the cindy lopper um stuff all of it go 100 goes to their um i don't know if it's a foundation or whatnot but it benefits people with aids so it's a good excuse to buy some so this is what it looks like. It's a nice cute package. And the lipstick looks like this. I know, you wouldn't think that I would wear this, right? It's so not my color. And every time I see this in the Mac store, I'm like, ooh, yeah, that's, that's for a white girl. But when she put it on my lips, I was like, ooh. But if you put this on top of it, girl, it is the most amazing thing in the world. Uh, it's called Strange Potion, and it's from the other limited edition thing that they have uh, called Venomous Villains. I'm sure you guys have seen it around YouTube, but it looks like this. So cute! And it's like a nice coral color, and and it's bright, so with this and this together you wouldn't think but it's like amazing like I don't know let me zoom you guys in Whoa. Hmm. can you guys see that it's like a nice coral like bright lip so whoops um yeah, so that's what I got. I'm really obsessed with it. I'm so glad I got it. My friend was trying to persuade me to do it. And I was like, ooh, oh no. Because usually I get very beigey nude pink colors, which is kind of like my skin tone. And so I was, I was hesitant at first, but now I'm very glad that I got it. So what else did I get? I did not get this from the Mac Studio Talk, but I got this like a few, like a week before that. And it was during, during Halloween. And I kind of justified it because I was like, every girl needs this. Um, I was a devil for Halloween, which is pretty much me on a headband with devil horns. And um, so I got, I tried to look for 
a perfect red lipstick. Every girl needs a perfect red lipstick and they need to find their own color that they can always have in their collection that matches their skin tone perfect, that makes them look amazing. So during that time in October, I think it was like October, yeah, it was October 31st or October 30th or something, um, I was on a mission to find my perfect red lipstick. And this is what I found. I tried so many different red lipsticks and what I was looking for was a bright modern lipstick, red lipstick. Um, I tried so many of them and a lot of what MAC has is actually quite sheer but what I got was also limited edition. I wish it wasn't. Um, their normal line isn't as bright as their limited edition ones but the red lipstick that I found to be amazing on me is another limited edition, the Venomous Villains collection, and um, got Cruella de Vil there. She's my favorite villain because I'm a huge like dog fan. I love dogs. Uh, everywhere I go, if there's a dog, I'm like oh, puppy. Like I'm, I'm all about dogs. So my my favorite villain has always been Cruella de Vil because she would be my ultimate villain because you don't you don't treat dogs like that you just don't do it so this is what it looks like oh I should probably do swatches shouldn't I so this is it on my skin isn't it amazing oh my goodness it's so bright I love it and it's like imagine it on my lips it's like oh it's so gorgeous I love it I love bright lips it just, it just looks more modern and youthful, you know? And then, on top of that, you know, I can't have a matte lip. I mean, you can, but I gotta have that matching lip gloss. So I got the Cruella de Vil uh, matching lip gloss. Of course, that was the only one that matched with my skin. So I'm gonna be using this, like, very... Uh, in small amounts, so I can, uh... It won't run out. So, yeah. So this is what the lip uh, lip gloss looks like. Oh, I used too much. Oh, gross. Okay, anyway, that's what it looks like. So amazing. I will be putting up pictures of how I looked like in Halloween. Yes. That's all I have to say about that. Um, and last but not least, this is kind of off topic, but... I've, I've always been like a huge book nerd, and recently I've been reading the Outlander series. Please holler back if you've been reading the series because I have no one to talk about talk to about this. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah. I have no one to talk to about this. I've been obsessed with the Outlander series. I've been, oh, let me revise that. I've been obsessed with the first book. The second book, I wasn't too obsessed about and I'm working on the third one but I've been putting it down because it's just kind of been boring me it's a uh, Voyager got it right here and I've got like I've gotten this much done and then I'm like god this is <sighs> so boring but anyways if you guys don't know what the Outlander series is um pretty much it's supposed to be the best romantic novel series. I know that sounds really cheesy, but it's not just that. It's like adventure and all this good stuff. It's really good writing. So, um, the first Outlander series, it's set in Scotland and the girl falls in love with like the hunky, red-headed Scottish guy and they live in like, like this like scavenger highlander like environment I don't know it's just like amazing it's so it's like romantic adventurous like it's it's all of the above so I've been obsessed with Scotland lately I've been like YouTubing Scottish people trying to imagine their Scottish accents like I've been wanting to visit Scotland ever since the Outlander series so given my recent obsession with Scotland Mac had to come out with a Scottish tartan tail thing <laughs> When it came out, I was like, oh my god, Mac, 
and me are like soulmates. Seriously. How did they know? How did they know? So I've been obsessed. I've been wanting every single thing in the collection. And what I got was this recently. I really want to go back and get more because you know that this is their Christmas um, line by the way. And you know their Christmas line always runs out really quick. And it's still November and I'm like, oh, I should really go back for more. But you know, Mac is expensive. And I can't really justify it because I'm in school and I should be spending it on other things and I should be saving up money because I got student loans to pay off. But oh, I love it. I love it. It's like it's like a pair, like a, a amazing pairing with like the Outlander novel. Seriously. So this is what the front looks like. It's very fuzzy. So cute. So cute. And it's called the Dashing Lassie Eyeshadows. Um, I haven't used it yet just because I, I think it's so perfect and I just don't want to ruin it. So, this is what it looks like. Oh, you can see the Filipino flag right there. Um, <laughs> oh! Yeah. Okay, anyways. Um, it comes with a dashing lassie. I don't know which one that is. F. Okay, a dashing lassie, once upon a time, magical mist, bronze, buckwheat, and showstopper. I think this is showstopper, I'm not sure. And I think this is a dashing lassie, once upon a time, magical mist, uh, bronze, showstopper, buckwheat. Or maybe the other way around, bronze. I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I really don't know how to read that. Oh no! But, um, yeah, maybe I'll just point it out in, like, arrows on the thing. Where did that thing go? Oh, no. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, so I have yet to use this. I'm just so scared to use it because it's so perfect. It's, like, my favorite little thing in the world. But, yeah. So if you guys are reading the Outlander series or have read it or love it or anything like that, please holler back. Tell me all about it. I'll chat with you on the YouTube thing. Chat with me, chat with me if you like the uh, Tartan Tail line too. I love the line. Um, and yeah, leave a comment, leave a message. I'd love to hear from you guys and have a good day. Love you guys. Bye.